Hey guys, it's I am responding. Daniel, this is more. This video is about the custom dashboards, but more for system administrators in the department or anyone that has permissions to edit uh, these functions. If you don't see the functions that I'm about to show you, that means that your system administrator or the person in charge of the I am responding uh, in your department has not granted you the permission. They can do so through editing your member profile, but they would be the one to have to do that. So. We've all learned about how uh, I am responding allows you to set up a custom dashboard so that way you can have it look however you want. You can set up your emergency screen however you want to set it up. If for some reason you have it set up and it is not toggling, meaning it is not going to the other screen, to the emergency screen when an alarm comes in, there's a setting that you need to set up. And it's in administrative functions. So go up to the top left hand of the screen and go to administrative functions. And you'll be brought to the administrative functions screen. Go to system settings and automatic toggle view. Your second one down from the top. Toggle dashboard to map when a new dispatch comes in. That needs to be selected as yes. If it is selected as no, that's your issue. If it's already selected as yes and it's still not transitioning, then you need to contact support. Otherwise, this should fix your issue. And then go back to the main subscriber page after how many minutes. So it will toggle back to the non-emergency screen after so many minutes. So I'm going to set mine for uh, 30 minutes. Hit update. And I'm good to go. So that should work fine. There's a couple other system settings in here that you can do. So you can automatically uh, clear your system, like who's responding after so many minutes. So you can enable auto clear from the now responding screen after so many minutes if you want to do so. The other thing as well that you can do is back on the home screen, I'm just going to duck back over here. You can actually put your logo right in here. So if you have your crest or your department logo, you can put it right up here. So let's go back to administrative functions and go to manage subscriber logo. And this is where you would upload it. So they're saying a 60 by 80 pixel is the optimal size and then no more than 10 megabytes. Now, there's a couple different things that you need to know about doing this. If for some reason you have a, a logo, you can upload it. As you can see, this is not the optimal size because it is um, not allowing me, or it's, it's warping it a bit. So you may need to have it tweaked a little bit uh, depending on what you're using with your image software. The other thing as well is sometimes your uh, image has a background in it. Generally, if it's a JPEG or a uh, JPG or BMP, those generally always have a background. Whereas if you have a PNG file, that can have the ability to have a transparent background. If you guys get your um, work done by like a local company um, for letterhead, your logos, that kind of stuff. Generally, they're going to use a PNG file or can supply you with a PNG file so you can do this or you can remove the background. There's some apps out there as well as Photoshop. Nevertheless, you simply select it, hit uh, upload file, and then you can delete it if you want to delete it. Let's just hit update. And if you go back to the home screen, there's your logo. So it didn't actually warp it in the end, it just appeared it did. But as you can see, that background is there, and sometimes you need to go and remove that background. And if you remove that background and make it transparent, it'll just match the color. If you're using something like a, a red screen or something, or a white screen, it's not a big deal. Uh, let's go to light gray screen, done. It's not as bad, not as prevalent, but you can still see it there, it's a little bit annoying. To me, it is. To you, it might not be, but I'm a little bit finicky when it comes to stuff like that. So these two settings that I just showed you are system-wide settings. That means if you set up automatic toggle view, 
that sets up automatic toggle view for the entire department. Uh, all users will have that happen to them, and it will uh, follow the same format. The same thing with the Manage Subscriber logo, the same idea. Okay, so you can have it so that way, or you can upload your logo, and it will um, automatically change back and forth, uh, or sorry, it'll automatically change your logo system wide. One more thing for administrators, if you know most of us have access to ID pictures or department pictures. If you have something like that, um, you can go in and edit your members, and uh, let's just bug this guy right here. So let's say I want to give him an image, an avatar image. I can actually give him an avatar image, so that way um, he's able to do that. Now this is a very, very uh, specific size that you need, basically 180 by 180, and it can no longer be more than 10 megabytes. Upload that. And that's that image that shows up on the screen uh, in the top left corner right here. Um, not a very big image, but it's still it's nice to be able to see it. I hope this helps you, system administrators. Um, oh, for that, and I want to show you one more quick thing, and it's just something that I experienced right now. Nothing major. If for some reason you are adding a picture to I am responding through edit the dashboard, and you add it and it adds this size and you can't get it to resize there is an issue there with resolution nothing major um, the resolution just maybe not that of which I am responding prefers just zoom out a little bit and then you'll have the editing capability so you can resize your image easily so that's all you need to do if for some reason and this only affects images uh, if for some reason your images you're not able to resize them just go up and change your zoom a little bit. Either 980 or 150 is working for me. But I'm on uh, thir uh, 1368 by 760, I think it is, uh, resolution. So, much like anything out there, everything works best with an optimal resolution. I'm using a, a TV screen, believe it or not, as a, as a monitor. So that may be part of the issue there on my end. But if you experience it, that's how you rectify it. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.